Oh, yeah. Ever so dangerous. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making her way to the ring from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. This arena is absolutely electric right now for this steel cage match, guys. And I assure you, this is not your typical match. We're going to see these competitors do things inside that cage that they didn't even know they were capable of. women with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Corey, many people believe Charlotte may be the best pure athlete the women's division has ever seen. It's hard to argue that statement. Charlotte Flair has backed up every claim she has made since arriving in WWE. And you can see the respect from the WWE Universe for Charlotte. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Look at them, locked inside that cage like a couple of rabid animals. Born into this business, but handed nothing. Charlotte has earned every praise she's received. Woo! Byron, don't ever let any flair or any other human being, for that matter, do that again. Look at that power, Byron. Man, that is just careless intent. Oh, perfect kick. Bam, what a slam. She comes up short. If you're gonna leave your feet, you gotta make sure you're gonna land the move. What a strike, right on the mark. Charlotte is in a bad way here. I'm not sure if the queen can rebound. Here's what we're going to see what she's made of. These women are so evenly matched at this point, guys. There's just no telling which one of them will walk out of here victorious. Byron, one thing we learned very early on about Ember Moon is that she can overcome any adversity thrown her way. Yeah, I think she proved that most in 2017 when she was sidelined for several weeks due to a shoulder injury, but eventually returned to capture the NXT Women's Championship later that same year. If I could reinforce what Byron was saying on Ember Moon's NXT Women's Championship victory, what made it so impressive, in my opinion, is that she had to defeat not one, but three other women to capture the goal. That's right, it was at TakeOver War Games where Ember Moon turned back Nikki Cross, Peyton Royce, and Kyrie Sane to become NXT Women's Champion. She is on fire! The smartest thing 
a young star can do is learn from a veteran. And Charlotte has the best in the wrestling business. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair. If you're lucky as a rookie, you can bend the ear of a trainer or a visiting legend for a few minutes. But Charlotte has had 30 years to learn from her father. Taking off her feet now. And you're not going to win in a pin attempt. Charlotte with an easy kick out there. Not yet. But the head scissors are fine. Oh, oh, man, that's just nasty. Corey, Charlotte's knowledge of the game is limitless thanks to Rick. When you're learning from the Nature Boy, it's like an advanced class every day. Imagine having Flair DNA to start. Then you add the wisdom of Ric Flair and the sky is the limit. She's already Hall of Fame worthy and she's only getting better. Oh no, Charlotte's still dazed. Oh man, Ember Moon is really feeling the pressure. She goes for the cover. A kick out. This one's not over yet. She's still in this one. Oh man, Ember Moon is really feeling the pressure. Oh, here we go. She's in full. Look at this. Hey, are you kidding me? Charlotte is in trouble. There's a pin now. He survived, and this cage match is in the books. Let's take another look at these women in action. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. And finally... Here is your winner, Ember Moon! What a win for her here tonight! And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it.